Today in the Isotuan kitchen, I just want to make a quick and easy, hold on, phone's ringing. It's a torn kitchen. Let me get a 10 piece hot, lemon pepper sprinkles, okay. extra wet, extra crunchy, okay. with a peach drink on the side. And make sure my fries fresh, cause last time they were cold. You got it. I guess we got something to make. Now, all of the ingredients and measurements will be in the description box for you to follow. So go ahead and check that out to get everything you need i have my clean and dry chicken i cleaned the chicken the night before let it dry out for at least 24 hours so that way the chicken is nice and perfect okay now i took my clean and dry chicken i added that to a mixing bowl to that mixing bowl to season this up i'm going to start with some yellow mustard i know yes this is going to be a mustard fried chicken recipe and no the chicken will not taste like mustard the mustard will act as a binder and elevate the flavors in the chicken along with the seasoning now to start off i'm going to hit the chicken with some black pepper just like that of course we need some good old garlic powder garlic powder is going to be key for this recipe along with the other ingredients such as some chili powder just for extra kick now we are going to put some hot sauce in it but chili powder is not going to hurt some garlic powder just like that you want to make sure you evenly coat all of the wings with the seasoning and one pack of sand zone okay so you want to get one pack of sand zone just like that and mix it well okay now i'm not finished adding my ingredients i just want to mix this to start just to see what else i need that's just a quick tip go ahead and eye your ingredients see if you need to adjust the seasoning and mustard to your liking now i am adding some slap your mom occasion seasoning just a tad bit and guess what some smoked paprika as you can see i did not add any additional salt to this recipe because some of the seasonings already have sodium you don't want no salty chicken all right Now that we're finished with the chicken, allow that to marinate for at least 30 minutes or you can allow it to marinate overnight. Now it's time to make our seasoned flour mixture. I have about two to three cups of all purpose white flour. To that I added some cornstarch that's going to add the crispiness to our chicken. I'm going to season the flour mixture just as I season the chicken. Black pepper, some Cajun seasoning, some chili powder, and again, you can adjust the seasons as much as you want, okay? Take away, add whatever you want. Garlic powder, onion powder, you know that is the staple for any recipe. To that I added just a tad bit of some ground mustard to elevate the flavor of the flour mixture. And of course, we need some Sanzone Complete. Now Sanzone Complete, I did not add to the chicken, but I did add to the flour mixture. Then to that mixture, I added some smoked paprika that's going to add some additional color and a tad bit of flavor to the flour mixture. Mix it up just like that. You want to set that aside while you get your oil ready. Now, this concoction that I grabbed off of Amazon is perfect. It is mess free. Put the lid on and guess what? I'm going to show you how that works later. Now, for the oil, I use peanut oil and I only set the temperature to 300 degrees, all right? Because we're going to do a double fry for this. I'm going to walk you out through it. Don't worry. All right, while that oil is heating up, I'm adding my marinated chicken to the batter basket. Now, I know you typically would just get a brown paper bag, add the flour, and shake, but I grabbed this off of Amazon and give it a try just to see if it really holds up to what it's supposed to do. So I put the lid on and I gave it a nice shake. Use all my muscles, give it a nice shake. Make sure every wing is covered in that seasoned flour. Now, let's go ahead and give this a live test. Bam, I was actually quite surprised. It actually worked. Now, I will say I needed to do it one more time and I'm gonna show you why. It wasn't covered completely, but good enough for a first go around, not bad. So if I'm scoring like Keith Lee, I'll give it a nine out of 10. Now I'm gonna put the cover on that batter basket again. And I'm going to give it another shake just like that. And I want good coverage on all of the wings. We want some crispy chicken wings. Bam, there you have it. Woo, look at that. Perfect. I do recommend this product. I'll have a link below if you want to give it a shot yourself.
Now the key is to allow the wings to rest after you coat them thoroughly. Now, let them rest for about 10 minutes before you add them to the fryer. Remember, we have our oil on 300 degrees. We're going to do our first fry for a few minutes. But before we get into that, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more recipes from Eats with Tuan. It really helps me out, folks. So make sure you go ahead and like that video and subscribe. Now, I'm not going to over fry. I said over fry. I'm not going to overcrowd the fry basket for my first fry. So I put a few wings in there. Put them in a fry basket. You hear that? Woo! Cooking times will vary depending on the type of wing you have. My wings are intact, so it took about eight to 10 minutes at 300 degrees for those wings to cook through, okay? Look, nice and golden brown. Look at that color. Guess what? It's actually kind of crispy right here, but listen, eight to 10 minutes is going to be for the first fry. I added another batch of wings to the fryer. I did make sure the temperature rolls back up to around 300. The temperature will fluctuate, but just keep it around 300 folks and not too high, okay? Now I added that, that sound is just music to my ears. Now, once the wings are finished, just like the first batch, take them out, allow the excess oil to drain, and then we are going to raise the temperature and we're going to fry them again. Yes, that's going to ensure we have some crispy wings. You heard her, she want them extra crispy, extra wet. Y'all heard the order in the beginning of the video. Now folks, the chicken has to rest for about 15 minutes. Yes, 15 minutes. Crank that heat up on your fryer, however, however you're frying it, crank that heat up. To about 350 if you're using a stove top make sure it's on medium high heat go ahead and put the wings back into the fryer once the temperature rolls now i do recommend a thermometer if you're not using an actual deep fryer so that way you can monitor your temperature now i'm going to go in for another five minutes or so until the wings are nice and crispy now look at that Woo, look at that those wings are nice and crispy they're still golden brown look at that it's not over to cook. I'm telling you folks, just follow me. You know I got y'all with the recipe. Now that's what you call a crispy chicken wing. Now folks, check out these golden brown crispy chicken wings. These things look amazing and they taste even better. You can even keep them plain if you want, but you know what the order was. So now we are moving to the french fries. She wanted some french fries and just like in any curry out fashion, they not making their french fries from scratch. So we just grab a bag of fries from the local grocery store in the freezer section, go ahead and fry those up per the package instructions for some good old french fries. But guess what, you can make your own and make sure you season them once they come out of the fryer. Now while the fries are frying, I'm going to take my crispy golden brown wings. I'm gonna add those wings to a mixing bowl to add our hot sauce. Remember, we need them extra wet with some lemon pepper seasoning. Now, one wing I'm counting as two. Don't beat me up in the comments, but y'all know how it is. That's how the curry outs do us. Now we have 10 wings. I'm using Sweet Baby Ray's Buffalo Wing Sauce. I'm gonna cover the wings just like that. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure I give it a nice mix and make sure everything is nice and coated with that buffalo sauce. Now that the wings is coated in that nice hot sauce, I'm going to add the lemon pepper seasoning on top. And guess what folks, we have ourselves some lemon pepper hot wings, crispy lemon pepper hot wings. Don't they look amazing? Just look at that. Now let's go ahead and check on our french fries. The french fries, we always want to make sure we fry those last. We want them nice and crispy and hot around the same time that the wings are finished, okay? So I took the fries out of that hot grease, but you know we're not finished just yet. We gotta season up these french fries. Now you can season up the french fries however you want. Salt and pepper, but of course I added some Cajun seasoning just to give it a nice kick. And there you have it. We have ourselves some crispy french fries with some Cajun seasoning, and then we have our lemon pepper hot wings. Let's go ahead and plate it on up. 
Now, folks, it's time to fulfill this order. We have our lemon pepper hot wings, extra crispy, extra wet, with some nice hot french fries. Folks, this was amazing. Look at those hot wings with the lemon pepper sprinkles. We have our crispy Cajun french fries. Listen, make this recipe your own, have fun with it. She did want a peach drink, but she's gonna have to come back for that one. Folks, if you rock with me through this whole video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time.